Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. I'm doing this poem as part of a contest, so you're gonna watch me live as I go through my thoughts as I'm coding. Uh, there'll be an explanation near the end, and for more context, there'll be a link below on the actual screencast of the contest. Uh, how did you do? Let me know how you do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and here we go. Q3, we order routes to make all paths lead to zero. So this one, I actually, I like Q3 a lot, actually, this problem. Um, but basically, you have and the first thing that I look for is just making sure that it's a tree because I think, so I scanned this problem really quickly uh, from, and when I, I was like, okay, I have an idea on how to solve this with depth of search or something, but I have to make sure that it's a tree first because if it's not a tree, then I don't know, there might be cycles, right? That's, you know, one of the properties of a tree is that it doesn't have cycles. And then if, it, and because it's a tree, I think I looked at connections on length because you go to n minus one, that means that the number of edges is you go to, yeah, um, n minus one. Then I know that I could, um, that I could do it with that first search. And what I did was, well, first I um, converted to a JSONC list, as you see here. This is very basic adjacent to this. I thought about which way that it should go because I was thinking that maybe we should go from zero to, to whatever the number is instead. But but yeah, but I was like, no, let's just create the actual adjacency list first. Uh, so I, I, while I was doing that, I thought about adding the weights. These weights don't make sense right now. I just wanted something as a placeholder. So, um, so yeah. So I have this base case where if no one is equal to zero, we return. Th this doesn't really make sense uh, because I changed. So my base case was going to be that for every node, try to go to node zero and then change paths along the way. But I think I, I changed the way that I was thinking as I was typing it, but then I didn't change the base case, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, but yeah, but basically the idea of what I'm doing now is is just trying to figure out, so what, I'm, what am I doing with direction? The direction is how I count the edges that are going the wrong way, if you, want, if you will. So if an edge is going the wrong way and we, we, ha we go from zero to that edge, or going through an edge that's going the wrong way, then we add one to the count. And because this is a tree, I'm able to just do this naive counting thing. And this is mostly right, I think, except for that I have the wrong base case of nobody is equal to zero. Um, and I will explain this a little bit in the exp explanation section, uh, so don't worry. But that's basically what I did. I was like, oh wait, did I have the edges the wrong way? Because I wasn't sure about which way to put the rate on, even though I knew that's how it was going to go, uh, because I just wasn't thinking about it. But I was like, ah, oh, still, still, huh? And then I had to add some print statement, but at the end of the day, uh, the reason why this is wrong is because I had the wrong base case, because I was still in my initial mindset of going from, from other node to the zero node, as kind of given the, in the problem. But then I was like, oh, I could just go from zero node to other nodes. And I was like, if I get this in this one, this looks pretty okay. But yeah, so this took me a couple of minutes as well. So not a smooth contest. And then I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, okay, let's run it. I do not get the right answer. So let's put the weight on the thing. I still don't get the right answer because I have a typo on, see if you could spot it. But, but that, after I fix the typo, that's pretty much it. And making sure that the one is the right place. Uh, but a lot of sluggishness, because I, I'm blaming her waking up early, but, uh, but still, uh, like these are just silly mistakes. 
get the wrong answer, but that's okay. I was like, oh, that's just literally the opposite of what we need, so that's okay. And I submit, and I'm good. Okay, Q3, reorder routes to make all paths lead to city zero. So this one, the first thing that I looked for was making sure that it's a tree. Um, and now, once I made it, made it sure that it's a tree, I think the confusing thing might be that you notice that it goes from, you know, you're, you want to start at the, or you have a node zero that you want to get to, and, but all the edges are going the wrong way, possibly, or some of the edges are going the wrong way, right? So what I did was that um, I used a, I, I took a minute to revert how I was thinking about the problem, and then I was, and, and instead of solving the problem where all the edges face is zero, you solve the problem where all the edges were fake or or you solve the problem where the, all the edges are going away from zero and then minus n or something like that. I did it the other way where I c constructed a graph where there's a weight on the graph on on a traversal. Um, that means that for for every edge that goes from u to v, uh, every connection here, and you might have to read the problem. I think I, I end up just testing which one works because I, I, it's always a little confusing which direction the connection goes sometimes uh, on these problems for me. So, and the one edge means that that's the cost of traversing from that edge, right? And, and that means in, in a way, what I was trying to say is that this cost of doing this depth of search means that it's the cost of flipping this edge. And if you're going from zero, that means that if an edge is already facing towards zero, then it's good. That's why you, it looks, it sounds kind of intuitive that my list is given that V to U has a zero cost. But because if, it, if it's going the other way, where zero goes to one, for example, then you, and you go from zero to one, that means that you actually want to flip that edge because that's the only way to go from zero so that the one edge points to zero. So then that's why I have a weight here and then I just sum up all the weights, and that is my answer for Q3. Uh, as this is a depth first search, and there's no sorting or anything, this is all uh, V plus V time, and of, of course it's a tree, so it's all V times, and space is all V as well uh, for the adjacency list, because the list is, the edge, the number of edges is just the number of vertices minus one, right? So yeah, that's Q3.